All right, here we go. Qualifier number four, starting right after the swarm up between Nazo, Jake, Cupra, and Yonel. Yonel, a pretty well known dirt player for Team Pulse. Cupra for Team SPF, both pretty good dirt players. Nazo as well, a known uh, dirt player, especially in this new game. He's been playing it quite a lot. Making some uh, very good maps for the game. Jake, good friend of mine, viewer of the stream, with a fantastic skin. Uh, and uh, probably going to win this match, honestly, as you can see from the poll. He'll probably win this, right? Anyway, moving on. 12 seconds left in the swarm up. Let's see. Who is, uh, who is going to be going into the next stage for tomorrow? Got the semifinals. We already know six of the players who have made it through. We just need two more. And those are going to be decided in this match right now. Let's take a look at Jake. Jake already making a little bit of a mistake. But uh, doing all right. We have Yonel with a bit of a slow start. Nazo up ahead. Followed just by Cupra. Nazo taking some nice wide lines, being nice and safe, but also aggressive. Keeping the upper gear, very important there. Nazo taking a much more inside approach. Let's take a look at Cupra from his perspective. He's trying to close in on Nazo, only 0.2 behind. Only 0.14 behind, he gets the inside line much better. Doesn't lift off, actually overtakes Nazo right here. 0.05 behind, ooh, but he makes a slight mistake, so Nazo actually can take this quite easily. Nazo being a Canadian, Jake an American, so we have two of these players are uh, from probably the same time zone as me. So anyway, Nazo now taking first place in the first round. Very nice. So now, Cooper in second, Yannel in third, Jake in fourth. But it's just the first, first round. Nothing is set in stone yet. Okay, Jake. Let's take a look from his perspective. Takes the uphill, loses the gear, but stays with the pack relatively close. So, uh, notice no positions decided quite yet. Let's take a look at Yannel. Yannel going for a little, a little bit more of an outside line. Cupra. Once again, trailing Nazo. These two players look like they were really prepared going into this match. I know that Yonel only learned the maps just the other day, so that is probably uh, going to affect him a little bit going into this. Cupra going for a little bit more of an attack here. But Nazo, very far in front. Ooh, but he makes a bit of a stumble, and now Cupra might be able to catch up, or Yonel. Both of them trailing behind, but 0.45 behind, they're going to just be fighting with each other, I think. Cupra with a bit more of an outside line. Nazo going for a bit of a risk. Cupra making a mistake. Yano also making a mistake, but that's not enough for Crypto Overtake. So, once again, we get the exact same point distribution as the last time. So Nazo is going to be up in 20 points. Cupra with 12, Yano with 8, and Jake with 6. Ooh, Cooper making a slight touch, going a little bit too wide in the start. Let's see where Nazo is. Nazo is in first place, trailed by Yano. And Jake, not that far behind. Jake, uh, not too uh, familiar with competitions. Um, I know all of these other players have had more comp competitive experience than Jake, but, you know, he's actually doing pretty decent for right now against all these players who are known dirt players. A little bit of lag from Yano. Let's just spectate Nazo. Nazo in front. We'll take a look from Jake's perspective. Jake going alongside Yano. Yano keeping up at the same pace. They're both taking nice lines. Jake really uh, 
Oh, going a little bit more outside. He's going to not have the right gear for that one. Let's see. Will he be able to overtake Yanel? He's going for more of an inside line. Yanel going more outside. Oh, but they both... They just, he decides too late to go for the safe finish. He actually probably had the speed to go for the risky finish. But uh, unfortunately, he did not make it. So now... Cooper with 16, Yano with 14. Neza with 30, looking very good for him. Jake deciding to uh, retire, I believe, in that round. Does Neza have a different name? I do not think so. <laughs> yeah, people do not seem to like this start that much, Crip. Also, how's it going, competitor? <laughs> You bonked twice? Ah, rip. Well, people, some people do have trouble with that start, unfortunately. But uh, right now, it's looking very spread out. Yanel is very far behind. I don't know if he'll even be able to finish. He is eight seconds behind. He better not make any more mistakes, because uh, 10 seconds is the, is the gap that's allowed. Is Snowman still in it? No, he is not. He uh, had a weekend trip that he was busy for, so he had to, he had to drop out. But he would have been a good contender. He would have definitely, I feel like, would have gotten into the grand final. But unfortunately, he did not. So, Nezo and Cupra taking first and second. Yano with third, barely making it in. Just in time, 101. Look at that. He was .007 away from not being able to make it into the finish. 0.007. Jesus. Let's take a look at Crip. He gets the start. He has a pretty nice start here, actually. Though Nezo with a much faster start than everyone. Uh, Crip knows he has a, a little bit of a battle here going on with Cupra. Let's take a look from Cupra's perspective. Actually getting a much better line. Both Nezo and Jake making a mistake in that uphill. So now, let's take a look at Yano. Yano moving up to second. Potentially could get a better... Uh, better time here than Nezo. <laughs> Cupra moving up to first place. Very bad line, though. Nezo making a slight overtake. Yanel far, far enough behind to where I think it's going to be one of these two players. Nezo going very wide. He goes very high up to make sure he gets enough speed there, and he does make it. And he's going to have won every single round on this map. That is a fantastic start for Neza. Almost double the points of second place. Yeah, first, first map, Crip. It's just the first map. Next map, I expect you to get all firsts. <laughs> anyway. Second map is Venom by Firestorm. This was the most highly rated map uh, by map judges when we were selecting. So, very good map. Pretty difficult, but not too, too hard, I don't believe. Nezo asking, or Yano asking Nezo if he was a TM2 player. I do believe he was. He started a year and a half ago on TM2. Well, he shows great promise and speed for someone who started about a year and a half ago. So Nezo showing his true colors. Actually, you know, if he keeps up this pace and does this in uh, later matches, he could be a contender for the grand final. He just has to uh, relax and keep a nice steady head and carry this home because he has 50 points. He's won every round so far, so that's looking great for him. Anyway, Yano, 22 points, only 6 points behind Cupra, so that is a battle to watch out for. Of course, the hidden dynamite, Crip himself, Jake TM. He, uh, he could make it and uh, make a great comeback. Let's see. Will Crip make a massive comeback? Let's, let's watch. Crip with the meme Nixotica skin. 
having the fastest start here. Goes a little too wide, though. Oh, but he does recover. He has a lot of speed. He actually is passing Yano now, going into the downhill. Yano making a mistake. Cupra keeping up with Nezo. It's the same story as we've seen before. Cupra being just a little behind Nezo. Nezo with a little bit faster of a pace, but Nezo making the mistake because he's risking so much. And now Cupra is going up into first place, trailed by Jake and Yano, both very close to each other. Let's take a look from Jake's perspective. He goes a little wide. He actually makes a mistake. So now let's take a look from Yano's perspective. What type of player is he? He goes very wide, but he makes a touch. Or does he? I thought he touched, but he didn't. Oh, but Cooper making a huge mistake. And this is going to be great. This is going to be great for Yano. Making it with a 101.02. Very opportune moment for him. And that is the first round where Nezo hasn't come in first place. So, a little bit of pressure on Nezo, maybe. But uh, he probably can keep a steady head knowing that he, uh, he has such a huge lead in points. So let's take a look from uh, Yano's perspective here. Yano, right in that battle with Cupra, 32 to 31 points. It is completely neck and neck as far as points goes, so there's no telling who's going to be able to take this or not. Yano getting a bit more wide of a line than you would like, probably. Let's take a look at Nezo. He's going for more of an attack. An inside line on this uphill. He doesn't drop the gear, and neither does Cupra. Nezo going for more of an inside line. Super aggressive turn there, but it works out for him. And Nezo is showing that he is really trained on these maps, especially for competition, and that's really good to see. He has been fairly consistent throughout this entire competition in all the rounds so far, so... That's really what you need when you're playing a cup mode format. 59.96. That's a very nice time for Nezo. Yano going to be dipping down just one point below Cooper now. So they keep passing the torch back and forth. Let's take a look from Jake's perspective now. Yano being the only one who goes for that outside pole uh, trajectory. Now Jake going in for the uh, wider line, gets a little bit more speed, but it's harder to manage and pushes him into the outside, so he touches in that little uphill turn. Let's go look at Cupra. Cupra and Nezo. The same story we always keep seeing. Cupra going for a little bit more of an attack on Nezo, but in this section we've seen that Nezo goes for a much more aggressive line, and he does. Cupra makes a mistake. Nezo, well, let's take a look at Yano here. Gives us a good perspective. Nezo going for a much more straight line, really, which is riskier, but it's definitely faster, and you enter that with much more speed in the downhill. And uh, Nezo getting a great little turn here. Let's see. Will he get a 59? 59.79. Nice time for Nezo right there, especially for a match. So, uh, Nezo really showing, maybe putting Yano on edge a little bit. I would suspect that Yano maybe uh, qualified for this, thinking that uh, it might be a little bit of an easier win for him, potentially, because he's had so much experience in the old game. But in the new game, the skills, they translate a little bit, but not entirely. So, you know being ready to adapt to the new game is definitely something that you need to look out for. Nezo getting a bad gear in that turn. Now this is what Yano might be looking for, but because of that bad gear, Nezo is put into a position where he's able to get a little bit more speed going to that exit. Nezo now, let's see this aggressive line just once more. Very straight. Very good line by Nezo. Point two ahead of Cupra. Let's take a look here. Cupra keeping that gear. He has the chance to catch up to Nezo now. Nezo going for the inside line. Cupra getting just a little bit more speed, but is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? It looks like Nezo is going to be able to clutch this out. And Nezo does keep that first pace. Thank you for the raid, Pizzle. Welcome to the stream, guys. We're watching uh, qualifier or uh, quarterfinal number four right now. The final one of the day. With Nezo 
Kupra, Yanel, and Jake all going against each other. Let's take a look at Yanel now. It's going very well. We've seen some very strong performances today. Uh, and yeah, absolutely bolt up. I plan to do one probably this summer as well. Yano going for a little bit more of an aggressive line than Jake, but a little bit too aggressive. Goes right into the wall. Let's take a look at Kupra. Nezo clipping on the inside, I think. Something happened there. Nezo is not going to get a first place in this round for sure. So long as Kupra keeps his pace up. Let's take a look. How is Crip doing? Crip is in a good battle with Yano right now, and he takes a little bit of a mistake. Let's take a look at Yano. Yannel not quite having the uh, the gear you would want. And, uh, oh, getting a little bit of a bad turn. Maybe that's going to be enough for Crypt to catch up. Oh, it looks like it is. Crypt is actually going to catch up and pass Yannel. And Cooper patches, passes Nazo in the end, apparently. The 59.96, not a bad time. Thank you, Rolling Dang, for the follow. Nezo has to be feeling super comfortable right now. 92 points versus second place having 57. He has to be enjoying this greatly. Like, knowing that you are so far ahead with such a nice and comfortable lead. I mean, come on. That's got to be enjoyable. So now, going into our third map. Revamped by me. We uh, haven't seen it be played that much in the rounds. We do five rounds per map, so we only get to this one once usually. And we see Thief uh, th twice, usually. And sometimes it... Uh, I don't know if it's ended on the Firestorms map. I think it has both times, actually. Crip in the warm-up here, relaxing, enjoying the map. Maybe not enjoying the map, but he's definitely warming up. All the players uh, going around, and uh, we have a very, uh, at least tried to make it look nice map here, you know. The high level of decoration, a lot of stuff put everywhere. Finals tomorrow will be starting at 1 p.m., uh, 1300 uh, EDT, or like 1900, 7 o'clock European time. Those are going to be the semifinals, and then the grand finals are going to be happening two hours after that. So we're going to be watching the semifinals, and then those are going to decide the grand finals. So let's take a look here. From the high cam, how is this looking? Nazo, all of them being nice and together. Jake going for more of an inside line. Then an outside line, but that will allow him to have more speed for sure coming into this. But it does fail just a little bit. Let's take a look at Yanel here. Yanel taking the lead ahead of Cooper and Nezo. Yanel showing that he actually knows quite a bit on how to drive this map. Except for a minor mistake that's going to put him neck and neck with Cooper now. So, Yanel and Cooper. Two who are battling overall for sure. We have only nine points between the two, and both of them definitely want to make it into the semis tomorrow. So let's see. Cupra going for much more inside nine. Nezo now. Oh, he gets it much lower. Nezo actually having a much better line here. I don't think he's going to pass Cupra, but he did pass Yano, which is going to definitely be good for him for just a little bit of extra points, but that's going to be bad. For what the hell? Crip, you were giving me shit for making this ending too easy? Bruh. Cooper making a mistake at the very end. That was desperately needed for him. That would have been great for him to pull away from Yano a little bit more. That was a bit of a, uh, a savior for Yano. Yano only seven points down, and now Cooper making another mistake. Yano is going to definitely be liking this, but Yano making another mistake, and now Jake is going up into second place. Maybe this is the comeback we were all expecting to see from Crip, also known as Shit TM in the chat. But Nezo looking very strong up here. 
definitely can take it easy. He's got 1.2 seconds up. Can relax. Let's go down and take a look down here. Yanel versus Jake versus Cupra. This is looking kind of like a close battle for second place. Cooper making a mistake. Jake taking over. Yano going outside. Jake making a mistake. Yano going up and uh, doesn't seem to be making any mistakes. So Yano probably going to take the second place here. Nezo going up to 112 points. One more first place finish and he will be a finalist already. So I think he's going to really enjoy that. Nezo definitely took it safe for the rest of that map because 105.01, that's, you know, a second and a half slower than the world record. So, definitely realized that he could just relax with the people behind him, catch up some time. It's fine. Had a one second gap. And Cooper making a mistake in the uphill again. Oh, this is so good for Yanel. Yanel is definitely getting out the PayPal right now. Signing off the check to Cooper saying, hey, can you let me win a little bit? I want to catch up. Signing off that check to Nezo too. If Nezo doesn't win this round, he's not going to go into finalist mode. He will go up to 118 points, which is not enough. So let's take a look from Nezo's perspective. Nezo now, with a bit of a faster pace than everyone else here, could catch this up. Goes extremely wide there, risking it a lot. Trying to keep as much speed as possible. Yano. Going through, taking a little bit more of an inside line. Yano going for uh, Nezo catching up a little bit. Yano getting some air time. Nezo going for the turn, but Yano doing a no slide strat. Oh, this is so close. Yano going for more of the inside line. Nezo keeping the gear potentially, but Yano going for the jump and oh man, 0.05 between the two. Great race, great race. Yeah, style's not for everyone, Ryder. Cupra, once again, making a mistake in the start. He has to be kicking himself now. I mean, this is, what, three rounds in a row? Three rounds in a row where he makes a mistake. Nezo going into a finalist attempt right here, and it's looking very good for him. Yano not getting the right gear, barely making them jump, going for a wonky line, hitting the outside, and Nezo might be able to just take it nice and easy right here. Uh, yes, you can bolt up. The maps are uh, in the campaign. Um, that will be called, like, Qualifier or whatever. I'll probably rename the campaign to NDC Edition 1 after this because the qualifier is no longer open but uh yep nazo with a one second lead he could even go for the safe and he could probably even afford to touch in the uphill nazo is going to be the first person going into the semifinals tomorrow gg very strong performance by nazo shows that he has what it takes to put up a great fight in tomorrow's match Yano complaining that he wasn't able to accelerate. Maybe he got an Excel penalty. But uh, Cupra and Yano now. Both going to have to uh, step it up a little bit to try to get into... Oh, Cupra hitting on the outside. Again, Cupra always failing in this start. And Jake, you know, he started off a little bit slower, but he actually has the ability to do well here. He, uh, he, uh, if, if other people keep making mistakes and he doesn't, you know, he could just catch up. But anyway, Cupra, now, one second behind Yano. Yano probably, let's take a look at how he does this little uphill. This turn is very difficult to get right. He gets a little bit of a jump. Cupra falling behind him. Catches up only slightly, but he's still more than a second behind, so I think it's safe to say that Yano is going to take first in this round and get those 10 points. Moving up to 80 points and passing Cupra finally by two points.
Yano saying he forgot about the existence of the uh, acceleration penalty. So I'm guessing he's not too um, comfortable with the new game, as he alluded to before. Anyway, now, one more warm-up. Going back to Thief by Dizrod and Hunter. Well, there you go. That's one person we brought from the old game into the new game, Yanel, saying that this is his first time playing Trackmania in 2021. So, uh, great to hear. Hopefully some more uh, old Dirt players will be enticed to play the next edition by uh, seeing this edition, but we'll see. None of these players really uh, getting through warm-up. Nope, nope, Cooper did. Okay. So, Yanel and Cooper are very close to each other. 80 points to 78 points. You bought a new pad for tomorrow? Nice, Dizrod. Very nice. Cooper and Yanel both with terrible starts. Jake taking the first place already. Oh, but Cooper getting it much better uphill. But, uh, you know, Jake showing that maybe, hey, if other players are making mistakes, like I said, he has the opportunity to capitalize on that. Cooper, though, pushing a lot. Making the push and moving up into first place now. Cooper definitely trying to get back in the game after the last map being a total disaster for his points. And uh, he can only be thankful that Nazo was so consistent at getting first last map, because if he hadn't, Yano would have had many more opportunities to surpass him in points. So maybe a little bit of a blessing that Nazo only finished, you know, on round number four of the last map. So... Yanel here, coming in second. Ah, oh. oh, okay, making a mistake. Going for the safe finish. Crip being the only one actually getting the risky finish. So Crip comes in second, and Cooper moves up to first. And that's going to be Cooper overtaking that lead again. So Cooper, 88 points. Yano with 84. This is looking really good for Cupra, making a bit of a comeback on this map, possibly, but where is he? Oh, he is like a whole two seconds behind now. You know, Crip, Crip really is just quite unlucky that, oh, never mind. Okay, Crip is quite lucky. All right, so Crip could get a win here on this map. Yanel is completely two seconds behind Crip. Cupra is two and a half seconds behind. I mean, Crip just has to relax a little bit and take this win here on this round. He could probably even afford the safe finish. He's two seconds ahead. And, uh, yeah, as long as he just drives normal, relaxed lines here, this is going to be a win for Crip, which is going to be a savior for Cooper being so far behind. And actually, Yano makes another mistake. He's five seconds behind now. And there we go. Jake with a 101.9. Not bad. Not bad. This is the comeback that Jake was looking for. Yano showing some hatred for this map with the minus minus. Maybe that's fine. Teach their own. The map is definitely a little bit strange, but Dirt and TM2020 is strange, so... That's to be just what happens and what's to be expected. So Yano, now six points behind Cupra. That's not enough to say anything. I think we're going to get a double final situation. I would not be surprised. I think that's to be expected. I think each of these players is desperately thinking, if I can just get more than 10 points ahead of the other player, then I guarantee that I become a finalist while he doesn't. 
and I get just one more opportunity. But that's really what it's looking like, is just one extra opportunity to win before the other person ties it up with double finalist and says, hey, look, you got to win this next one or I'm going to take it. And Cooper is the one who's doing the best right now on this round. He's up ahead by 0 0.18. 0 0.15. Yano might be going for an attack. Let's see. Cupra. No, he keeps it with a 101.56. Not bad. Yano going for the safe fin with a 102.79. Jake taking that third. Jake hitting the 60 points. Mark. Cupra is surpassing the 100 point barrier and now is 10 points ahead of Yano. This is exactly what he's going to want. If he can keep this momentum. He can win in just uh, two more rounds. He can move up to finalist. If he wins both of those rounds, well, let's suppose he can get a first and a second, and he will get finalist. So in two more rounds, he is very likely to be in the uh, in the top with a uh, in finalist. But Yano has to be the one responsible for getting rid of him, and Yano is an experienced comp competitive player. And uh, though in TM2, it is dirt nonetheless, so he knows how gears work, and he knows what he needs to do to beat Cooper here. Cooper going for a very tight line there onto the checkpoint. Only 0.14 behind. Yanel going for a little bit more of a risky exit. He loses the gear, but that's going to be fine for him because he will gear up at the same time as Cooper. Cooper also losing the gear. That's going to be a blessing for Yanel. Yanel taking a little bit more of a risky line. Is he going to go for the finish? Oh, Cooper taking it by 0.07 of a second. Oh my god. Good race. Very good race. But now, Cooper. Probably feeling super hyped up. Cooper is in the great mindset right now, and he makes a mistake. Okay, well, Cooper has to hope that both Yano or Jake make a mistake, because if he gets second, he'll move up into finalist. If he doesn't, that's going to be another round where Yano can gain points and uh, try to catch up to him. So this is very good for Yano. All he has to do is pass Jake. Jake holding out against him, but Jake makes a mistake in the uphill. In fact, is that going to be enough? Cooper might actually pass him. Jake having a little bit better of a line, but Cooper goes through that more tight, and Cooper probably going to get a second here. I don't see him choking this, so Cooper will go into finalist mode after this round, most likely, unless he makes some major mistake. Yano going for a nice... Oh, Cooper keeping the gear. So he has a little bit more speed, 0.28 behind. Yano going into this finish. He goes much wider. It's much harder to control, but... Oh! And Jake takes it! Jake takes the second place! Cooper should have been going for that safe finish, but he didn't! He didn't have enough speed, and now he's not even in finalist mode, so... Oh my god, if Yano wins this next round... Oh, but we're going to the next map. So it is going to be ending, most likely, all on Venom. So one warm-up to let these players regain their nerves, relax, and uh, try to get ready for this match. Oh, but how close this could be. How close that this could be for these players. Thanks for the follow, Zex. So, this map, made by Firestorm. Very good map. Quite difficult. A lot of gear management going on. Not as many crucial gears, but many gears that will give you a good advantage. So good luck to these players to uh, try and qualify. So Cupra. Two more points. All he has to do is finish the next round, and he's a finalist. Yano. He's going to need to win the next round to be finalist. And he knows that if he wants to win this, if he doesn't win the next match or the next round, he needs to win every other round after that. He wants to go into the semifinals. So we will see. Can he handle the pressure? Yano taking the outside line of this first turn. 
goes down much deeper than the other two players and therefore is going to have a little bit more exit speed, but not quite. Gets a bad gear, and Crip is the only one who keeps the gear well there. Crip, uh, you know, showing that, hey, these pros at dirt, they can make mistakes too, and I'm going to capitalize on them. Crip with a very good start. Falls off just a little bit there. Yanel, oh man, it is just too close to call at this point. All the players are basically inside of each other, within point one of each other. Now it's Yanel versus Kupra. This is going to be very decisive for Yanel. Is he going to be able to pull it off? Kupra, right ahead of him, just by 0.06. Yano loses the gear, but so does Kupra, so he's fine. Yano, just a little bit behind. Can he push enough to get into the first place position here at the very end? I don't think it's going to happen. I think Kupra is going to go into finalist. And Yano, at 116, has to win the next two rounds. Or hope that Jake wins a round and denies Kupra. So let's see, from Jake's perspective. Jake is relaxing. He knows he's a pawn right now for these other two players. They're both thinking, Cooper's thinking, Jake, do not get in my way. Yano is thinking, Jake, please get in my way if I make a mistake. Coop, Crip, hut, Crip. Cupra is now in the lead by 0.3. This is looking super good for him, but Yano going for more of an attack. He actually had a little bit better of a gear, possibly. Oh, and he's going for much more speed. He's true. Oh, but he touches. He touches in the uphill, and this is looking super good for Kupra. All Kupra has to do is relax. He has one second to spare about. He just has to keep his cool. He has someone making the shot calls for him. Kupra could just get this one. All he has to do is relax, and Kupra may make it. Jake is two seconds behind, and Cupra is qualified for the semifinals tomorrow. GG. And there we are. So now, let's take a look at how this bracket works. We have Nazo being the seed one for match four. We have SPF Cupra being the seed two. So tomorrow, we are going to have the match Insanity versus Elcon versus Firestorm and Cupra. A very difficult match for all of these players, I'm sure. Happening at one o'clock this time tomorrow or at seven o'clock, 1900 CEST. Followed by that, immediately after, we have Sappy versus Dizrod and Helsinka and Nazo. Another great match among players. We will see who wins that. And then only two from each of these matches will go into the grand final, which 